All right, here's a redo of how to install FidoS from a Ventoy stick. And we basically are just going to take the shortest path to get this configured to the point where we can access the FIDE OS store. So go through the setup like you're going to run this from USB. And then we'll run the installer to get this thing on the internal hard drive, SSD. And it takes a minute for the touchpad. There we go. And a little wonky. The one thing that Windows does great is the touchpad driver, drivers. Not so much on these bootable Linux-based OSs, but you know, you get what you get. And we're just going to create a local temporary account. Let's just get through it. Just create a dummy account. Don't care. And install the installer. And we're going to do a full disk installation. I'm not going to even attempt to deal with multi-boot stuff with the videos that I do. Way too many variables. And I'm familiar with this hardware, so I know the proper destination is SDA. Your mileage may vary, obviously. All right, so my last video, after I uploaded it and I looked at it on my phone, the screen glare was just crazy. Um, I'm gonna have to go through, it looks like my Bliss OS video is similar too. I may or may not do that, but um, it's really hard to capture this stuff. Um, I'm trying to capture as I'm doing this random stuff on the devices that I'm working on, they don't always play nice with an external display. A lot of times, depending on the device and the lighting, and I don't always do this in the same place, so the lighting's not always the same. And it, you know what, the end result can be shitty. Um, I throw away most of my videos um, just because I look at them, they're shit, I don't have enough time to all right, I move on to the next thing, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not interested in that anymore. But, you know, I am trying to be a little bit better. Um, 
even though I'm doing these as quick as I can, it's still disruptive to my workflow to stop and to try and, I mean, it's not a lot, but still, you have to have some lighting. I have to get my tripod set up, and even though I'm just using my camera, it, you know, interrupts when you're doing a bunch of things at once. And in addition to the crappy glare, my comment count on that particular video was increasing daily, but I was not actually able to see the responses. I couldn't find any information on it. It looks like I triggered some trolls. Um, and that happens. Uh, in the past, um, before Hare Musk canceled my Twitter account for hurting his fee fees, um, for calling him out for his dumb fuckery with the Tesla stuff, where, you know, I, I had some Tesla stock before the dork started taking Tesla resources so that he could do his other stupid random shit, um, I was getting bombed by just, most of the time Twitter didn't give a shit, they just let him through, but still, this feels kind of the same, and timing-wise, it correlates with me complaining about right-wing dorks deflecting from their shitty humanness that's not even a word but it happens if you have an opinion you're gonna you're gonna offend snowflakes and nobody is more snowflakey than the group of people that run around you know hiding behind jebus and calling other people snowflakes um so that's probably what happened you know, if that offends you, you can just go watch some other video. There's probably a bunch of, you know, incels somewhere talking about how great Trump and Elon are laughing at the fact that, you know, he's calling, you know, our federal workforce criminals and singling out probably one of the largest groups of vets that he can touch, you know, treat them like shit. Because that's funny, right? So you can go hang out with those guys. I'm a rural, redneckish person. Um, I'm also ex-military, so. I'm far from a shit lib or a libtard or whatever else. I just get tired of the biggest group of dumb fucks in our country right now are Trump nut lickers. And I'm tired of just being a sane human being and having this group of shitheads, you know, call people like me like rhinos or shit libs or commies or socialists for just trying to be a decent human being. All right, so there we go. Now you would just go through the setup again, um, and now we're on the hard drive because I have removed the thumb drive. Um, you know, and I get that maybe the rant isn't appreciated. Just like, shut the fuck up. I just want to see how to install Fido OS. But this is related to why I'm redoing this, and I probably wouldn't even mention this stupid shit again if it wasn't very, mo very likely that it's this kind of shit. Um, the internet's just been taken over by these really thin-skinned, hypocritical dorks that are super offended if you say anything they don't agree with. I, I could give a shit, just leave me the fuck alone. Um, but I do get fairly frustrated, that's an understatement, when people don't realize what they're cheering for. So... Out of the 2 million-ish federal employees, and depending on the part of the government you're talking about, but roughly one-third of them are vets. Um, a large chunk of those are combat vets and or vets that actually you know, sucked it up for 20 years. Um, and in that group, you have a non-American person who didn't even immigrate here legally calling them criminals and traitors and around one third of our country cheering that on. Think about that. Think of how fucked up that is. And most of the people cheering it on didn't give enough fucks to even enlist themselves. It's shameful.